Hi everyone, it's Ian here from Catspace, and in this video blog we're going to be talking about uh, cutting into curved surfaces, uh, either debossing, using for embossing features, uh, but to start with, uh, we're actually going to use the wrap command. Uh, most of you will be familiar with this already, but the wrap actually works with uh, simple curved surfaces, like, as you can see here, and this is actually straight in one axis, so this is straight in the Z axis, and what we can do is create a sketch on our front plane. Let's just do a rectangle for simplicity for now. Exit sketch, and now we can go to the wrap feature. Select up here in the feature uh, command manager. Left click on that sketch, and then left click on the surface, and you can see it actually projects that rectangle onto that curve for us, like so. Uh, so we've got wrap parameters, I'll select deboss and 2 bill. Hit OK, and that actually cuts into that curved surface for us, exactly 2 mil. If I had a more complex curve, for instance, uh, we've got one here. So there's a fair bit happening on this surface, uh, compound curves. What I have to do uh, to get the same, same result is a little bit different. To start with, we'll create a sketch on the front plane once again. Let's just do another rectangle, and I'll exit that sketch. The first step is to go back into Features, Curves, and then Project Curve. So make sure Sketch on Faces is selected, and we can select this sketch first, and then this face, and you can see that's actually projected onto that curved face for us. I'll hit OK there. Now, this actually pops up as a curved feature, not a sketch, so we can't actually use this to cut in just yet. Uh, next thing we have to do is select this. We have to actually create a 3D sketch first. And then with that curve selected, we can click on Convert Entities, which then converts that sketch for us. And we can now see it's black, it's fully defined. We can exit out of this. The last thing we need is a direction for our cut. So I'll go back into a 3D sketch. I'll select a line. I'll just make that coincident to that rectangle. And then to cycle through the planes in a 3D sketch, just hit the Tab key. And I actually want this in the YZ. So if I rotate there, you can actually see that. And let's give it a 45 degree angle. I'll escape out of that. And then Exit Sketch. Now I can actually go to Features, Extrude Cut, select this sketch, and then just under this little menu we've got Direction of Extrusion. I need to select this second sketch here and you can see we've got our preview. I'll flip that using Reverse Direction and that will actually cut into our surface for us. If I hit OK, this will actually ask which bodies we want. I'll just go to selected bodies and we want to keep body one, which is that main one shown in blue. If I hit OK, we've now got our cut and that's our projected rectangle and it's cut at two mil along that, that uh, curved surface face. If anyone had any questions with this uh, or anything else regarding SolidWorks, please feel free to give us a call or visit our, web, our website on www.cadspace.com.au. Thanks for watching.